U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said the six-month deal rolls back Iran's stockpile of enriched uranium and increases the time Iran would need to develop a nuclear weapon. Kerry said Iran will have 0.20% enriched uranium in six months under the deal announced Sunday. Kerry said Iran has agreed to unprecedented international monitoring of its nuclear program. This first step, let me be clear, does not say that Iran has a right to enrich uranium. Contradicting Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif, Kerry also said the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons does not grant Iran the right to enrich uranium. Kerry said the easing of controls on Iran's restricted oil revenues during the six-month nuclear agreement announced Sunday does not roll back the vast majority of the sanctions that are currently in place. Kerry said the alternative to the deal with Iran on its nuclear program would be further development of Iran's nuclear capabilities. He said no world power represented in the New Deal believes Iran would capitulate in the face of unrelenting sanctions. Kerry said Iran must prove its peaceful intentions with actions, not words. He said President Barack Obama will not take military force off the table, but he said war would not be a lasting solution. Kerry said the deal announced Sunday is a serious step toward answering the world's questions about Iran's nuclear intentions. Kerry calls the nuclear deal a rollback of that nation's nuclear program and a first step toward a comprehensive agreement that will make Israel and the rest of the world safer. Kerry, we need to set about the critical task of proving to the world what Iran has said many times, that its program is in fact peaceful. The top U.S. diplomat said the initial agreement creates time and space to allow Iran to demonstrate its peaceful intentions.